So having arrived in stone, we're going to take a walking tour of this historical canal side town and uh, I'll put links in the description for all the uh, items of interest that I see. At the end of the video, I've also included um, a story about a murder that took place uh, way back in the day. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Star at Stone. Part of Stone's historical past is this old stone bridge over the river, which is long since been superseded by a modern bridge and highway and it looks like they do a little bit of canoe kayak slalom type events down here yeah it's an extensive course they have there I think that's great fun And that's the view from the modern roadside. That's a dry dock over there. Interesting wharf here at Stone with clearly a lot of history. I'll put some links in the description old industrial buildings along the canal side with modern designed to fit in with the original architecture. And that's the site of the former Jules Brewery. Which sadly no longer exists. Some of the boats you see along the canal clearly been there for a very long time and are in a very sorry state which is really sad to see so at some point in its history that would have been somebody's pride and joy modern apartments Tight little corner that up to the next lock. And this little passageway through here, which is part of the towpath, obviously they used to take the horses through this. shot of it from the other side and of course the railway runs near the canal So we're on a little jaunt to see where this footpath will take us up the steep steps.
and down the other side. Oh, some heavy railway machinery moored up. Park at me, moored up. Anybody think I'm still on the canal? Parked up by the stone railway station. Let's go on. Ah, that's a really interesting old railway station for all the railway enthusiasts. Uh, it looks like there's living accommodation on the first floor. And there we are. It tells you all about the uh, unusual architectural style to which it was uh, built. It's now a grade two listed building. That's the view from the rear end of it. It is actually just like stepping back in time. It's not a steam train anymore though, which it would have been in the old day. Sounds like they need some WD-40 on some of those wheels. Massive great weather spoons in stone. I think it might be the old post office. I'll do some research. There's a general view of the street in stone amazing that we needed post office so so big back in the day now they're hardly in evidence at all well the crown and anchor a grand old building. First World War Memorial and another old building over there. Ornate stonework on the entranceway. Bear. Now coffee house, kitchen and bar had to be a bank at one time. Just like every other high street you visit in the UK now loads and loads of shops to let that's the library and the crown hotel in the day would have been a fantastic place would have been very grand Crown, designed by Henry Holland, and it was a coaching inn. That's got some stories to tell. And that's the Stone Post Office now, which is a very modest building compared to how the original was. Swan Inn. Looks like it might have been an old warehouse for the... Uh, canal because it literally sits only 100 yards away from the canal and that's the lot we came through earlier next to the star at stone there's a beacon right here on the canal for when the insurrection occurs.